Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well today. Uh, today I'm going to catch up on some of the items I've picked up recently. Um, I went to the car boot sale this morning. Um, I didn't buy much, only bought three items. The first item are these brass sheets. Um, unfortunately they've been cut in half, all three of them. Um, and they're the full letter of the alphabet, alphabet plus the pound sign and hyphens and commas etc um, I don't know if you can see it's like these like brass sheets but they've been cut so I've glued them onto this sheet so the, they, they don't they don't come up now with um, double sided sticky tape and I thought it would be a nice background for my pictures on Instagram and um, so I paid £20 for these brass printing plates he said they were from a printers and they were on the wall to sh you can see the holes up here they were on the wall um, basically as like showing what they could do if you know what I mean so really really nice really like those and then also this morning I picked up two items I bought this old brass uh, Gretna Green anvil door knocker 50p I thought that was pretty cheap and um, you see a lot of um, uh, Gretna Green anvils they're pretty common um, these are the ones you find which is the same as these, the old Gretna Green Ambles. You can find the earlier ones, they look a little bit more and they're actually solid, unlike the other ones which are hollow. Um, but yeah, so it's nice to have a Gretna Green Trio. So I got a door knocker as well, so that was a bit of fun. Um, and then the other item I bought was this whistle. Um, I thought it was kind of cool with the anchor on it. Seems to work, maybe not, um, but little whistle. Um, I paid £10 for this, it was probably too much money, but you know, as you do. So I just bought three things, all brass, all brass this morning on the car boot. So I'll show you what else I've picked up recently. Right guys, so this is the um, rest of the items I've picked up recently. Some eBay sort of purchases and um, the other day I went to an antique fair and I couldn't find an item. This was the item. It was a Picker Grill and Schofield Limited, Huddersfield, England. Um, a little um, caliper <clears throat> uh, measuring tool. I thought that was cool. I paid 10 for that. This was an eBay purchase, which is a made in Switzerland double caliper. Uh, really interesting sort of watch ma watchmakers tool i thought that was really nice swiss made quality um i bought a whole job lot of these um wells unbreakable file handles ac wells these are quite rare and there was a whole job lot half a dozen of each um and then obviously that's the size one and this is the size two the file handle really really nice ac wells paint and company so they're really cool so a whole set of those we've got here um, Alex, you need to let me know if you want any of these. Um, we've got here um, a handy key. This came up on eBay. A handy key um, a wrench. Um, and the handy key wrench is a Neil's handy key from 1884. Um, and as you can see, the handy key. Very rare wrench. I do already have one. Um, you can see here, handy key. They are slightly different. If you look at that patent number there, it's it's much, much more, um, you know, it seems a bit larger. And on this side, it's got different markings on it. Um, this side is, you know, so I thought that was a bit of fun. Handy key wrench. So we've got two of those. So one of those will be able to go into the swap pile. Then um, next one, we've got the... <coughs> reciprocating back rack and collar type spanner really really cool and um, the brooks brothers and this is from um 18 uh, 1860 so it's about 160 years old and i have two of these now i did get this little guy really really cute and i found this slightly bigger version of this 1860s back rack spanner so that was really cool a couple of the little guys really really nice <clears throat> and then last but certainly not least well that's not the one 
we got this very cool cam spanner from 18, 1895, I think, 1890. Um, the, um, Walker's paint and cam spanner. As you adjust it, you can adjust to, to make the size of the nut. It's so obviously the opening and then you've got the, you know, the reciprocating side. Um, corresponding side. We've got two of those. Really, really cool. Um, so this was the original one I've got off my buddy Len. And I managed to find this one up on eBay. These are exceedingly rare. So that'll be a good one for the swaps pile. To see if we can get something else interesting. So yeah, so picked up a few items. Really pleased with the uh, printing presses. Really, really cool. Look, uh, the fire handles are really nice. Um, lovely, Some lovely uh, examples there. Then I really like the little Swiss caliper. So there's some gems amongst it. Um, some rare, I was really pleased with this because it's a different size to the one I currently have. So that's really good. So yeah, some interesting items. You'll have to put in the comments which is your favorite. All right, thanks for watching if you managed to get this far. Take care, have a great day, bye.